and we're going to see how the color is going to move up into the stems. It will be actually part of the cells of the plant. Unlike a topical pesticide that is sprayed on, it could be washed off. Systemic pesticides cannot be washed off because they become part of the plant cells. So this is my little experiment. I would imagine it will take a couple days to see the effect. So we'll continue to video to show it. April 17, 2013, and this is about two days plus into the bok choy sitting in the red and blue dyes, and you can see that they're being uptaken. You can see it's definitely a pinkish color turning red. You can see it definitely in the leaf. And in the blue, you could see it more right in here, the vein. There's the blue and the pink, or red. So we'll give it a couple days and see how dark it gets. You could see it again right in here. So it's actually in the plant. You can't rub that off. That's why they call it a systemic. It's actually being uptaken by the roots. And then that chemical or compound is being stored in the leaf. And then we consume it. There's the red. This is one week that the bok choy has been sitting in the coloring dyes and the leaves are starting to wilt so I just wanted to get this videotape before they start degrading but as you can see I started with it up in here it did it was traveling up there but you could see definitely the blue tint the pinkish red and as you get closer you could see Oh, it got in there, and it's not going to rub off because that's actually in the cells. Alright, so that's how a systemic works. The poison is in the ground, roots take it up, plants process it and distribute it within the cells of the leaf so it can't be washed off. That's what's kind of interesting about systemic pesticides. No matter how hard you wash them, they are actually in the cells of the plant. There's the blue and the leaf. There's the red.
And I just noticed this, this is the back side of the leaf. Look at how the blue is coming along the edges there. And then it started showing up, like really dark. And the cells, that's the back side. See the blue coming through? Let me get closer. And that can't be rubbed off because it's actually within the cells of the plant that you end up eating. Here's the blue. Alright, obviously the manufacturers of the systemic pesticides are not going to put food dyes in it or else we'd be able to see the systemic pesticides in the vegetables. So the powders that they use are probably white or clear so they're basically invisible. So what you see is really not what you get. Alright, as you can see this is a piece of celery that I did it to. But the amazing thing on the celery is it only took about two hours for the blue dye to travel about one foot of the celery stalk. See it right in there? Whereas it took at least a couple days for the bok choy to have that. So definitely the, the celery's got a stronger vascular system there because it really pulled it up really fast and where I had it in was the blue dye and like I said it only took about an hour for it to travel up into the end of the celery Get this to focus. And there it is. So you can't rub that off. But I bet you if I squeeze, see? Can't rub it off. But if I squeezed it and pinched it like a pimple. That's how it was transported from the roots. There it is. And then what you do, if that was, if the blue stuff was the pesticide that they use, you end up eating it because it becomes stored and becomes part of the vegetable. So you can't wash this stuff off, bottom line, to go, go organic. It might not be perfect, but this conventional way is definitely not the way to go. Alright, check this out. I wanted to show you this. Here's the celery stalk. That was the end, and see how it's only got a couple that are coming through. But... I ended up breaking the stalk and check this out what I found there it is <laughs> all the way down to the bottom look at that like pesticide pipes So I could pull all that stuff out and you're just going to have strings, which I want to do here. <sighs> Look at that. Is that crazy? Now those powerful systemic pesticides that they're throwing in the ground 
you're eating this stuff and digesting it and you wonder why cancer is going around and disease because our food is total poison nowadays there you go my experiment that's amazing though I didn't think I'd see that glad I opened it up but you gotta take care of your own body so do your own research and go organic